Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a bit of unboxing. We're going to unbox gouge shaped and profiled cane. Now both of these styles of cane happen to be some of my new favorites and I wanted to share these with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig into my favorite styles of cane. We'll go for the big box first. Now this box is from Andrew Byrne in Switzerland. He does a really good job with allowing the reed makers to choose both the gouge, the shape, and the profile. So for me, this is a total win because because it allows me to choose if I want a concentric or an eccentric gouge, which will change the color tone a little bit. I went ahead and picked up a little bit of his Donzi gouge shaped and profile. It's on a Fox 2. For those of you that are looking for a strong spine running down the center of the cane, this gouge shaped and profile cane has it. It also has enough of a spine, but it is not going to require as much scraping as the Donzi from Donzi the manufacturer. They're gouge shaped and profiled. You can purchase that, but that cane requires so much work because it's so heavy. This comes off at almost exactly what I want my micrometic dimensions to be. Now for my beginning reed makers, this will probably not be your favorite style of cane because when you are doing more scraping, there is a greater aptitude for error just because you are taking more cane off. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not buying Donzi Cane from Barton Cane, I also love it from Barton Cane. It just requires less work from Barton Cane. This has a stronger spine. The other type that I went ahead um, to get in my in my cane bank is Silva Cane. Now, my experiences with Silva Cane in the past have been that this is great cane, dark tone colors, great high note response. Um, overall, it's quite hard cane, but it doesn't give me the projection that I'm usually looking for. So I wanted to check because I'm realizing that the vendor plays such a prominent role in how the cane reacts. I wanted to see how his Silva Cane worked out and if it gave me more projection than the Silva Cane that I have purchased in the past from Bassoon Cane. Com. So I will keep you posted on that. Okay, let's talk about my other style of cane that came in the mail. This is a bit of GSP cane as well. This one is from Barton Cane, and it gives you an idea of more where we're heading on this channel. A couple of videos ago, I posted the affordable read tools, and I wanted to have a GSP style of cane that um, people could purchase and in that style of GSP cane that they would have to do a minimal amount of work. Largely you could clip the tip, start playing on it, break it in, and then do a little bit of cane removal without a knife. My goal is to make this whole read series without a knife and have it accessible. So I wanted a cane style to do that that was accessible to you guys. So I went ahead and I got some Donzi Aaron Oft style because I know that will do it. I've been testing it so far and it's been working out well. And I went ahead and I've asked them to to allow for a scored option. Now, if you've watched my whole tutorial on how I usually make reads, I do it with a cross hatch that is separate from the typical straight lines that you would see in scoring a piece of cane. But I wanted to go ahead and have some that's already scored because it means less work for the reed maker. Um, and as I know that the affordable tools will largely be for those who are just starting their reed making, this is gonna be the one to do it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and chatty get ready for where we're going on this channel. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss a future video, be sure to click that subscribe button if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!